Welcome to the first episode of PHC, the show where we talk about the Philippine hobby community. One of the reasons why I started this YouTube channel is because I wanted to put the limelight on the Philippine hobby community. The local community here and industry for it may not be that big compared to other markets, but it's thriving, it's growing, and there's a lot going on that I would like the rest of the world to know. So in this pilot episode of PHD, we'd like to take a look at an established local community painter here in the Philippines. And I get to ask him some advice and what it takes to get the sort of gigs he has as a commission painter in this day. So for this episode, I had to go to Cabao Expo. You'll find like a company of different niche groups here from people who love playing and watching in rock bands, people who love traditional art, people who love street photography, graffiti, antiques, collector's items, board games, skateboarding, trading card games, coffee, supporting local products, supporting Mother Earth, startups, and of course, the hobby, miniature painting, scale modeling, and gun blocks. The Kubao Expo is where you will find the workshop of one Wilson Alinea. Wilson comes from a family that is filled with many generations of artists. And he followed one of those footsteps studying art and design in college and also pursuing it in a career in digital arts. Working in a couple of design agencies that became his full-time job earlier on, he would tell me about how passionate he was in creating art, where even after his work designing digital work for clients, he would go into his freelance gigs and design for other types of clients after hours there. So really, he was losing sleep just pursuing and practicing art. It was later on that he found a love for scale modeling, gunpla, painting kits, airbrushing, and the like. And one of his first few forays into making money out of, out of the hobby, if I'm not mistaken, was to creating his own customized water slide decals. And that's really where he started to create his brand and his name. The links of his works will be in the comment section below. In addition to that, he's kept his designing career intact by still creating 3D model designs for toy makers, for product designers, for clients both local and abroad. So creating tactile and scale kits was really well within his 24 hours of just living his life. In the hobby today, he's a well-established gunpla painter, especially in the weathering techniques. He does a lot of kits, he does a lot of busts, and very, very recently, he finally took his 3D modeling background and purchased a 3D resin printer and started printing display items, painting them, and starting to sell them. So while I was there visiting him in his workshop today, I decided to ask him about how he maintains his lifestyle in earning money from commissions and still having enough time for the different facets of his life and still paint the kits that he wants to paint as a collector and a hobbyist. Five tips for local commission painters who want to know how to make their commission painting sustainable for both financially and their time. Uh, disclaimer, hindi na ako magi English para mas masagot ko ng okay. okay. Number one, ang kailangan mo is commitment to yourself and to your, to your clients. Pangalawa, you have to have a plan, as in organized plan on on how paano ko magsisimula sa painting mo para ma-meet mo yung yung gusto ng client mo. Uh, number three, make sure na meron kang mga magagandang gamit. As in investment. Uh, Mag-invest ka sa good airbrush, good paints, uh, good brushes. Uh, yun yung magpapaganda ng ginagawa mo. At the same time, hindi ka mahihirapan. Number four, be ready with anything. Kasi anything could happen. Pwede kang magkamali in between, pwede kang magkamali sa huli. Uh, make sure na meron kang plan A to plan Z kung paano mo gagawin yun. Tip number five is always be honest. Pag hindi mo kaya on time gawin, Please inform your client. Make sure na yung client mo is every day or every week or every other day meron kang update sa kanya. Or how do you price your services? That's uh, very subjective actually. Uh, case to case basis kasi. Sa una una is yung confidence mo. Are you confident enough ba na pag pagbigay ka ng presyo is yun ba yung mamimit na standard na client mo? Like for example, there are other painters na parang naniningil lang ng 1,000 to 2,000 pesos which is syempre expectation of client is Kung ano yung magkano yung presyo mo. But if you give them much more, like 5,000 and up, like 10,000, syempre, mas mag-expect yun na maganda. So, are you ready for that? Kung tingin mong ready ka, walang kaso yun kung, kung mag-presyo ka ng mahal or mura. Isa pang uh, factor din sa, sa pricing is yung uh, gamit mo. Very important yung gamit na pinapa, na gagamitin mo sa kanila. Kasi kailangan malaman din ang client na, Ah, gumagamit ako ng Vallejo, gumagamit ako ng Citadel, gumagamit ako ng Arkham. So, the price itself, mag, pwede kang mag, 
alam mo yun, pwedeng mag-up ng kahit pa paano. Compare mo naman kung gagamit ka ng poster color, ng acrylic, ng mga pebeyo. Okay. Plus yung time pala, kasama din yung time nun. Uh, so for example, kung ako, ang gusto ko talaga siya i-full time, I'd really price high, pero kailangan malabas yung output ko yeah, na maganda. Yeah, kailangan malabas mo yung output ko talaga ng gusto ko. Full time uh, painters naman dyan. Similar lang naman yan as yung mga typical na parang freelance job. So dapat meron ka lang parang papakita sa kanila na kung bakit yun yung presyo mo. Usually ako, gumagawa ako ng breakdown. Meron akong rate na, for example, yung professional fee. Professional fee is, for example, I... Uh, makita ko may maliit lang na ako na million of painting. I could price it like 1,000. So that's professional fee pa lang. Meron pa akong isasama dyan na materials. Materials cost. Plus yung contingency. Yung kuryente, tubig, airbrush. Kasama mo dapat yun. Gusto mo maging efficient, kailangan mabayaran ka rin nila kasi bread and butter yung gagawin mo full time. So that's, that, that will be your bread and butter, di ba? Magiging open ka lang naman sa kung bakit yun yung kailangan mong gawin. Bakit yun yung presyo mo. O ako gumagawa ako ng breakdown. Meron akong sinasend sa kanilang PTM form. Na pati yung kung gano'ng katagal ko siya. Estimate time, estimate days kung you know, kailan ko siya matatapos. Okay, what are you currently doing now? At your workshop, what's the plan for the workshop in the future? Okay, so this uh, workshop ko, plan ko talaga is maging hobby shop lang siya na ng consumables like paints, uh, mga accessories, uh, maging own studio ko rin. At the same time, kahit pa paano, konti itang bayad. Since, since pandemic kasi, nawala talaga yung yung original plan ko dito sa uh, workspace ko. Like, maging hobby shop siya. At the same time, maging parang rental of care brushes, ganyan, workshops. You could uh, check out my work sa wilsonpl.art. Parang doon lahat yung mga ginagawa ko for the hobby, like painting, weathering, and kung ano-anong shit, mga memes. And then, please do follow din yung isa kong page, yung Wilson Hobby Station. Hindi na water slide decal lang yung venture ko ngayon. Nag-start na rin ako for 3D printing. So, kung may mga gusto ko yung pa 3D print na kung ano-anong stuff and shit, Contact me actually. Isa lang ako sa maraming nag-3D print sa atin. Wilson has been building a Gunpla community of his very own for a long time and has recently started jumping into the miniature painting hobby. And he's joined our community, Pilipintados, which is a tabletop painting community, which is now turned into a scale modeling and figure painting group. The link will be below. And he's one of the admins there helping us grow the whole page in the Philippines and hopefully take over the world. So if you're watching, check out the page, join. And that's it for Wilson Dalanea. Wilson, thank you so much for joining, man. The PHC or local hobby community here in Manila alone has so much to offer to the world. And I want to design the show to bring this to you guys. Or so whenever COVID is, becomes a thing of the past and you guys start visiting us in Manila, you'll have a sort of guide of where to go, who to see, and where to bring your model passion to if ever you're staying in the country. I'm always welcome to show you guys around should you ever drop by, so hit me a message. We have a growing D&D &D community here with a bunch of talented writers, storytellers, thespians, modelers, painters, and creators alike. We have people who have loved board games and have turned into tabletop skirmish players and even war game players. And those three groups are just mixing it up the past few years. And now we have the rise of 3D printers and the merging of 3D designers just finally going full circle into idea creating and printing. And these groups are now slowly joining together under our group Filipinados and other similar Facebook groups and other similar groups in the Philippines and it's just making the whole hobby community thrive here in the country. And like the community, this show has so much more to offer to the internet community here on YouTube. So do subscribe. I'd love for the rest of the world to see what's in store and what the Philippines has to provide and give and contribute to the global hobby that we all love and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Louis of Louis Loves Minis reminding you to hobby every day to keep the sprues away.